I learned a long time ago that um, there are just too many typefaces out there. And what, what I found is, and here's, what it, here's, what it, here's how it started for me, is like when I was um, a young designer, before everybody was using the computer, before anybody was using the computer, when I was really, you know, I was 19, 20 years old and I was working in New York, and there were these big, thick books, like telephone style, old, does anybody know what a telephone book is, yellow pages anymore? <laughs> Back in 19, um, huge books from a d number of different sources. Photoshop was one. Um, uh, uh, um, was it called photo? No, photo lettering was one. And there were different sources. And some of them were in New York. Massive books, and they were like, they were style books. So you would flip through them, and each page had 30 to 50 different fonts. And it went, you, you would f you'd flip through it like this, and it would slowly take you from sans serif all the way through to serif to decorative to Hebrew to like, just like you could basically search for your font, and then you would take a, uh, your, 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 your brief, and you would mark your brief all up and say, this one is gonna supposed to be this size, and it's gonna be kerned, tight, not touching, and it's gonna be this, and then this body text is gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna mark it all up, and you had a Haber rule, a special ruler to figure out how to order type, and that was a, that was a skill that we had then. And then you send it off to photo lettering, and depending on how busy they were, it might come back that afternoon or it might come back the next day, which was really cool. Because there wasn't this immediacy. You could kind of go have a beer. And so I'm, I said, out the type, um, I want to go have a beer, wait for it to come back, right? Um, what I learned there is I found all these designers that I was hanging out with were, were spending hours pouring through these type books looking for the right font. And what I mean by the right font was fonts that had they came, they came with, a, with a backpack full of their own information. I need a font that says World War II, right? Or I need a font that says, like, says romance and style. Like it should say like fashion, right? We're looking for a font to bring in its own meaning. So I flipped through this book and I learned these fonts and I knew where they were and I had like my own little dog-eared pages and stuff. And then I, one day I realized, we're wasting so much time looking for the right font. W one thing I'm gonna start doing is using the wrongest font. Like what would be the worst font, which is kind of an interesting idea to put in. And the other one is like, you know what? I'm using so many fonts, but, and especially now on the computer, I see this everywhere. We're using so many fonts that we're not getting good with any of them. We're not, practi we're not getting to know one typeface personally and get good with it. So we'll do a job and we'll, we'll, we'll set a full page or we'll design this whole thing and people go, wow, that's really beautiful, what is that? And I'm like, I'm not sure. I think it might be Caslon. Because I've, I've picked maybe five fonts and I just use them for everything. Because I don't think it really matters because I know the end reader, oh, here's why it doesn't matter, because I've stopped designing for designers. Big idea. I've stopped designing for my friends to impress them. And I literally will have friends, I put things out in Cooper Black and I get friends who write me like, Cooper Black, are you kidding me? Why are you, you know, or, or I would pick a, um, a Garamond and someone say, dude, what is it, 1990? You know what I mean? Like, um, I don't care about that. That's not important to me. One, I want, the, I, I want to make sure that the words I'm using are quality, our poetry, our moving, you know, don't design crap, right? Um, and two, I've made my life easier by choosing a few fonts and getting good with them.